Wearable technology riding the wave of the future. My next guest, Startup, is hoping to make a dent in the high-end uh, market uh, by targeting serious athletes like basketball star LeBron James and Olympic swimmers Ryan Loke and Michael Phelps. It has raised nearly $23 million in venture capital funding since its launch in 2012. Joining us right now is Whoop CEO Will Ahmed. Will, good to see you. Good to see Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. So there are a lot of wearable technologies out there, but show us what you brought and uh, why this one you say is uh, the most effective. Well, so Whoop is optimizing performance for elite athletes and teams. Uh, this device here in my hands is continuously measuring heart rate, heart rate variability, skin conductivity, ambient temperature accelerometry. It's five different sensors. It's 100 times a second. And it provides the most granular understanding of your body. Wow, taken. I mean, this is something that we all want to track. Um, but why w would you choose this one over another one? Well, I'm not a pro athlete, so, so I don't even wear. Oh come on! I don't even wear Fitbit. <laughs> this is specifically you really want to target the high end, the athlete that that wants specific uh, high end data. Yes. Yeah, so today we work with uh, professional athletes, collegiate athletes, Olympians, and the military. Interesting. I, well, but, the, but professional sports leagues have cracked down on the athletes wearing the whoop during games, right? Because I know, so is it banned? Because uh, Matthew uh, Deladova, who plays basketball, the NBA wouldn't let him wear, wear it during games. Yeah, it's right? a really good question. I mean, uh, to be clear, there's a lot of legacy rules, you know, historically around wearing jewelry and other things of that nature during, uh, during games. Um, I think the leagues are smart to, to be, you know, to think about player safety and things like that. So they're they're approaching this in I think a methodical way. Uh, but Whoop really helps athletes understand their bodies. And for us, we want to empower athletes to understand their bodies. In-game monitoring is a huge component of that, but not the whole the, component. Does this give somebody an edge over somebody else if one person's wearing it? I'm just trying to figure out why the NBA has these legacy well, rules and why, why they don't allow well, It's player safety, right? You want to make sure someone's not wearing something that can, you know, hurt another player. And, and the good news is, in the case of Whoop, we don't. And I think what we've seen is because so many athletes love the product and because it helps them understand their bodies to perform at a, you know, higher level, ultimately we'll get there. That's and, right. we're, and we're seeing that with, with other leagues. Well, if the athletes want it, I mean, Della Vidova wore it for almost a month before he had to take it off from yeah, what I understood. It would have been in the NBA Finals had he been able to wear it. What about the, uh, the No Fun League? Uh, excuse me, the National Football League. Are they able to wear it in, in that league? No, fun league. no so uh, the National Football League is similar to in the NBA in the sense that they also have legacy rules around whether or not you can wear this during games. But I think the important thing here to realize is that WHOOP is helping athletes change behavior and find peak performance. And, and the important thing about that is it you know, allows for longer careers, it allows for uh, less injuries, uh, and that ultimately makes the fan experience better. It makes the whole uh, arena of sports better. I'm wondering if these legacy rules are negotiable. Maybe you could, uh, the next round of venture capital funding, yeah. write a check to the NBA or the NFL. I mean, uh, NBA is putting uh, signage on the uniforms uh, soon, right? So maybe... Uh, yeah, I think Maybe look, go I, for this too. I think you're seeing all the leagues being more innovative as as they go forwards, and and we're going to be working very closely with the leagues. And and I think the most important thing is that we've built the system ground up to really empower athletes. So the professional athletes are on our side in this uh, arrangement. It's uh, it's five to a thousand dollars a year per person. Would you come out with a version that was mass market, that was cheaper? Is that, are you thinking about it, that? It's something we're considering. You know, we've got some big announcements coming up, and, and that's really all I can say about it right You're now. You're welcome to make well, them right now. Yeah, <laughs> break some news, though. I'm wondering for someone like me who goes to the gym religiously three times a year, <laughs> what does this product have to offer? Well, uh, for you, you know, you perform at a high level uh, during work, right? And oh, so, always. Yeah. Right, so, so we would we would do a lot around monitoring how you're how you're sleeping, resting, and how your body's recovering. Uh, a lot of our analysis analysis around sleep and recovery is designed to help athletes uh, or individuals like yourself, you know, find that peak performance. Ultimately, Whoop is trying to unlock I, peak performance. I just wanted to add, I heard about the company through a friend of mine who trains pro basketball players, oh, and great. he thinks this is just the dawn of a new age, so yeah. I wanted to point that out, Will. Yeah. Congratulations, Will. Yeah, we'll thank be you watching so much. the uh, developments. Good to see you. Will thank Ahmed you. joining us there. Next